Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and this is Judy, my darling sweet little angel, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and today we have so much to celebrate. One, Judy finally agreed to be in a video today. Two, Amberlynn is back to just vlogging. Oh my god, who do? And three, she even put a bar in the video, so we just, like... Besties, lots to celebrate. <laughs> oh, what a celebration we'll have today. Thank goodness we'll have a celebration the Zachary Michael way. Thank goodness. <laughs> I'm on something today. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm just happy. I'm happy. I've been so sick of sitting through just hours and hours of live streams. Not sick. I still enjoy making this content. Don't get it twisted, Amberlynn Reed. But it's just lots to go through. It sure is. And I like vlogs. I prefer vlogs, okay? But with all that being said, yesterday I did sit through her last 40 minute live stream and also a 40 something minute long video from Destiny as well. And I did post a video about it, but I posted it at like midnight my time, which for a lot of people is probably like, past your bedtimes, you know, because y'all like your beauty sleep. And I mostly just posted it because I was like, well, I had already seen that Amber Lynn posted this new vlog. So I was like, I'm going to have to get to get to on Tuesday and cover that if I want to stay on top of stuff. So I was like, let's just post it and we'll, we'll keep it moving. So if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. I did provide like a little content warnings throughout the video if you don't want to hear the stuff about Destiny's dog, which I know is sensitive to a lot of people. But I did cover it all, and there is other stuff besides the Destiny's Dog stuff that's in that video that you might enjoy. So anyways, yeah, Amberlynn is back with a new vlog, and it is called I'm Done With My Toxic X Weight Loss Update and Moving On Bar Vlog. So you know it's a vlog because she put vlog in the title again. So we're ready. We're here. Let's get to, let's get fucking to, shall we? Oh my god, this feels so brand new. I feel like I haven't done like a genuine reaction in a minute. Let's go. Hello. Hi. I just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look like I just woke up? Because this is what I look like when I just woke up, okay? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I was about, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I was about to say that she looks the same as she always does because merch in the link down below in the description box. I did just get new, best you look the same as you always do merch. Uh, but I don't think she does because how did her poop bun shift from here to here? Why is she wearing it like she's got one Princess Leia space bun going on? over here. I don't, I, I don't get it. How did that happen? I'm about to go get in the shower, so. Okay, shower lead. Let's go do that. Let's okay, do it. so I just got out of the shower. I washed my hair last night, so today was not a hair washing day. I've been noticing, like, I have a lot of, like, baby hairs growing. Uh-huh. Back. Like, I have a lot right here. There's, like, a chunk right here, a chunk right here, and okay. I don't know what to do, so. Ooh, what do you... <laughs> Wait, also this pause screen. I was I was gonna be like, well, what do you know about a chunk right here? And then I feel like her face answers that perfectly right now. What do you know about a chunk right here? <laughs> I love the pause screen. God bless. God bless. We just leave them. So I'm actually about to do my makeup. Oh, is that what I you're have doing? Some yellow on this dress. So I think I'm gonna use some yellow eyeliner and wear yellow hoops today. Okay, fashion. I think is gonna go down. All right, you guys, guess what? Ooh! Today is my 12th Wait. therapy appointment. Okay, good for you, but I do like the little, like, little hint of yellow, like, eyeliner, you know? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know anything about makeup. It is literally gonna happen in two minutes. Let's and go. I just wanna say I am proud of myself because I literally have not skipped a single appointment. I have done okay. once a week and I'm so excited. Um, after these 12, so after this one, I'm gonna start doing only um, two therapy sessions a month, so every other week. 
I'm, I'm obsessed that now that she's met the 12, it's like, well, I'm not going to go as often now. It's been so, so, so helpful, but I'm not going to go as often now. Which I do understand, like, part of it she said in the past was, like, a money thing because it, it costs a lot of money to go to the appointments every week, but I don't understand then why not take your time to begin with outside of she just wanted to get through it as quick as possible so she could hopefully get weight loss surgery. But yeah, I just want to say I freaking did it and I'm wow. so proud of that. So, all right, all right, pin a rose on your nose, to go girly. To the appointment, okay? So, my 12th therapy session is over, but oh, what a celebration we'll have today! <laughs> Thank goodness. I'm sorry for all the people that don't like it when I break out into musical theater. That is not a Zachary Michael original. It is, in fact, from Wicked the Musical. I already have <laughs> my next appointment scheduled for next week because you know what? I thought you said you are going to go. Just, it felt right. Um, I thought you said you were going to start going every other week, though. Okay, work. Um, so maybe after next week, we'll start doing every other week. But either way, therapy is going to be an ongoing thing. So now good, good. Setting off a little paperwork. Listen, that take good. Listen, support everybody going to therapy, being consistent with therapy, even if you don't have Amber Lynn's problems, even if you don't have my problems. I do believe in therapy. So good for you for continuing to go. We've only been asking you to commit like this for years, and I'm happy, you know, you claim to be doing it. Thinks that I am ready for weight loss surgery, and then I have my appointment with my dietitian in about 10 to 11 days. Okay. So everything is, like, on track. I still have a couple of those, um, like, I have to get an EKG. I have to get my gallbladder checked. And well, let's I'm go. On the same day, I think. Um, so I still have to go get those things done. I keep forgetting, um, but I'm definitely going to get them done before my dietitian appointment so I can have everything just, like, finished and done. Wait, 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 what do you mean you keep forgetting? What, how, how are you just forgetting to go get these things done? What does that mean? I just, I just keep forgetting to do these things for this thing that I really want to get. So um, you're telling me you made it a point to like go through with all of these other appointments and now we're just forgetting things like an EKG and getting our gallbladder checked out? <sighs> what I don't understand about her. Because I think that dietitian appointment is like where I am like reassessed and we're just gonna see what the next steps are. You guys. Not the P.O. box. The P.O. box stuff that she, you guys sent me. She did mention maybe putting P.O. box stuff back into just regular vlogs, which is like a loss for me, but maybe a win for some of you. I don't know. I loved when she had it separate because I full on just never watch those videos, if I'm being honest with you. So, I think I'm gonna open something. Uh oh. What should oh. we open? Oh. Which one should we open? Oh, it's a loss for me. So I'm taking I the L today. I open them so I don't have to do that um, in the video. Also, I hope you can't see somebody's address on that. This big guy right here, and it's heavy. Ooh. So, this is what it looks like on the inside. <laughs> okay. A little so letter. Amazon box, but I can tell. Oh my god. Oh my god. That it's just like someone's reused box because. Ooh, what do you know about someone's reused box? <laughs> God. See, this is the this is the problem. We haven't done reactions. I've just been recapping live streams, and I haven't been doing enough of that. We need to get back to that. What do you know about? What do you know about? There's just like. A ton of wrapped gifts. Oh my god, wait. Let me open this and then I will show you guys everything. Okay. You guys, I feel like it's my freaking birthday. Lizzie. Oh my god. Look at everything she sent me. I am. Shook first it. of all, what you wrote in the card. The card is beautiful. What you wrote is beautiful. She spoiled me. We have tons of Bath and Body Works. Okay. We have a Thousand Wishes candle. Isn't that... Is A Thousand Wishes a song from The Greatest Showman? I was just talking to my friends about how the plot and the story of that that musical, that movie musical, is awful, but some of those songs do, in fact, slap. Black chamomile candle. Another little A Thousand Wishes candle. We I have hope that, three bodies. I hope that that's actually a song. Am I just making that up? Maybe also I'm thinking of, you're giving me a million reasons to quit the show. You're giving me a million reasons do-do-do-do. You're giving me a million reasons. 
And giving me a million reasons. Giving me a million reasons. Boo doo boo boo doo doo doo. And I I'm gotta I gotta stop singing. <laughs> I gotta stop singing. I I know I know. Girly just Jamie in the comments is losing her mind. She's like a Twitch viewer that like always checks out whenever I start singing on Twitch. She is checked out of this video. I'm for sure for sure. Creams into the stars. You're the one, and Into the Night. Actually, all of these sound like they could be songs and The Greatest Showman. Two body butters, In the Stars, and You're the One. We have this Celestial Scrub by In the Stars. Okay. And then we have In the Stars Fragrance Mist. Oh my god. And you must know that I love Ariana Grande's perfume, so she got me Ariana Grande Cloud Body Mist. Oh, wow. I am shook. Doesn't stop there. Also got me this. this is a, this is a lot of smelly shit. All right, let's fucking go. She said, Destiny's gonna call you smelly. Not on my fucking watch. Unity Shield, it's an essential oil blend, 100% pure. And then I've never had Bath & Body Works um, perfume, so she got me You're the One wow. Bath & Body Works perfume. This really is. And then Bath & Body Works has lip oil, which I also <laughs> had no idea, so she also got me that. This really has to be a response to Destiny calling her smelly. This viewer said, I feel so bad that Destiny is slandering your smell, so let's do something about it, bestie. And she knows I like squishy things, so she got me this really cute baby koala oh my God. and a octopus, and I had to take one out already. Just you like had it. to? Look how freaking cute. And then this, me and Feline are gasping. So what it's is another that? like fidget thing, but the texture of this cat is... Making you so gasp. So satisfying. We are obsessed. Feline literally, she grabbed it and she goes, it's aesthetically feeling instead of aesthetically pleasing. I thought that was so funny. But, oh my. Girl, I didn't even crack a smile. <laughs> I didn't even crack a smile. But okay, you know what? Laugh at what you want to laugh at. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. Thank you so much. And then the last thing is this mystery me Ooh. meow. It's a surprise okay. figure. So I figured I would open it with you guys. Please. So let's see. Please. What is it? Oh my God, it's so cute. It's a little cat. Oh, it kind of looks like, um, it kind of looks like a Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. I've literally never watched that, that animated movie. I have no idea why I know what the name of that dragon is, but do you feel me? Tell me that doesn't look like Rarity and Wasabi like had a baby together. It doesn't. It's so cool. <laughs> it sure oh doesn't. Lizzie, you're amazing. Thank you so much. You did not have to send me this stuff. As soon as I clicked <laughs> off of the video, I used the lotion. I did a candle. I tried the lip stuff, okay. which I love. And then I also uh, smelled the little like pure essential oil thing. It smelled so good. It was actually so a really calming good. smell. So but I just want to say thank you so, so much, like, from the bottom of my heart. Way to go, Lizzie. So, yeah, I think I just decided... Thank you so much for the content, Lizzie. Appreciate that you are keeping Amberlynn smelling fresh. I'm going to start adding um, P.O. Box openings in my vlogs randomly, and I think it'll be fun to go back to that again. So, I if you guess. want to send me anything, here is my P.O. I Box. guess. Uh, I love also that she's like... Putting the disclaimer not to send food didn't help, and now I just got more, <laughs> and yet we're still here. Although, at this point, I don't think she could win. I really don't think she could win, which is why I go back to what I originally said to begin with, is that she should have just never included any of that cake stuff or any of the food at any point that she's ever gotten on her channel in her videos, but here we are, here we are. Uh, the only thing I request is please do not send me food. Thank you. Okay guys, so let's talk about live streams, destiny, I, and whole situation. No, so let's, let's not, because you said you're done and we're moving on. Although I, su I suppose that this is the, this is the final, like, this is the last thing I'm saying about it. Hopefully, maybe cross your fingers. I was putting a lot of my time into the whole trying to clear up my name and you sure trying to were. share my side of the story. You sure were. Of a relationship that I had eight years ago. A relationship that means nothing to me now. 
a lot of things that Destiny was saying was bringing up, obviously, old trauma. Like, the things with her mom and mm. Destiny cheating on me and what Destiny did to her dog, which I've seen a lot of people validate the reason why Destiny did that, and I will forever disagree with that. Okay, a few updates. <laughs> a few thoughts. I, I really am trying not to just immediately pause, but I, that feels like a good place to stop because I have two thoughts, okay? The first thought is, is that... Her tone of voice in this sit-down video, which people have pointed out, I'm not pointing out anything new, but her tone of voice and her demeanor and her behavior and her tone and all of those words, very different in a sit-down recorded video versus in her live stream. She's so much sassier in a live stream. She, you can tell that it's a different persona, different human. It's less... Um, less produced, which, like, I'm using the word produced loosely here, okay? But it's just clear that, like, I would say, honestly, if you want to talk about who the real Amber Lynn is, live stream Amber Lynn is probably closer, in my opinion, to how she really behaves on a regular basis because it's not filtered. And I know a lot of people, that's what they appreciate about Amber Lynn doing live streams is because... It's clear that she's just being much closer to her authentic self than she is in these videos because she has such a calm tone here. She has some rational thinking. It's clear that she planned out to some extent what she wanted to say for this situation type of deal. And it's not lost on me that this is a different Amber Lynn than what we get in her live streams because this is calm, rational. Clearly some some thought went into what she was going to say here. The other thing I want to say is that people, um, I do feel like it's weird. I have seen people even in my comments validating the Destiny dog stuff. Um, and I do think that's weird because I just think that Destiny has such a track record of being an awful pet parent that like, I don't know how you can validate any of that stuff. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. That really is neither here nor there. I do want to say that I agree with people, and I feel like I said this to some extent. So I said in my video yesterday that I felt like it was very manipulative of Amberlynn to, like, hold that over Destiny's head because she mentioned in her live stream that she didn't want to, um, she, whenever Destiny started revealing videos that were about their relationship and things like that, Amber Lynn messaged her and was like, do you, do you want to tell them about how your mom beat me up and how you killed your dog? And it's clear that, like, Amber Lynn was holding that information over Destiny, which I do feel like is very manipulative. And for me, it just makes me question like how much Amber Lynn actually cared about that because she's honestly been teasing that out in videos and live streams. And by videos, I just mean live streams. Uh, where she's like, well, I know things about Destiny that would make you hate her, but I would never share that. And then she shared it anyway. So clearly, she's just trying to get, like, a low blow on Destiny, not to excuse Destiny's behavior as a pet parent, but it's clear that the only reason Amber Lynn shared it was because she wanted to get one over on Destiny. Uh, with that being said, from, from the get-go, since Destiny came back, I've been pointing out that, that, you know, Destiny has her flaws and that one of those flaws is that she's not a great pet parent. And, uh, you know, I, I completely stand by, like, Destiny could have done so many things different for that dog before it got to the point that it got to, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to talk too much about it because I know it's a very sensitive t subject for a lot of people. But I'm just saying. And it breaks my heart. And that is why during live stream era, I said that I didn't like her. And I thought she was a horrible person. Mm -hmm. And my opinion still stands by that, um, mm -hmm. regardless of anything else. And just this whole thing has made me realize that, like, I was putting way too much time into that whole Destiny live stream but thing. But the thing is, girly, is that you, it's, you're acting like you just came to this revelation now, but at the very beginning of the Destiny thing, you had the thought, you had the consciousness to be like, this is not worth my time, this is a relationship from years ago, I'm not going to respond to this because it's not good for my mental health. You said it at least half a dozen times on Instagram, okay? So I don't know why you're just now coming to this revelation again and acting like it's a brand new thought. You should have just stuck with that energy fr from the jump. 
instead of putting time into myself. This has made me see more than ever like where people's hearts are and so many of you you know do stand by my side and I appreciate you so much uh -huh. but I hate seeing the side of the community that validates abuse whether that be emotional or physical um, that validates any wrongdoing that has been done just to continue to cast blame on me and I'm not going to be part of it any longer. <laughs> I'm no longer going to be talking about Destiny. I don't care what she says. Well, well, just as a note, then you didn't have to bring up the, the stuff about Destiny's dog to begin with. Like, you said you would never do that, and then you did. Again, it's it's manipulative. Not I'm not excusing Destiny's behavior, but you're being manipulative. And now you're like, well, I put this out into the ether. I put it out into the world, and now I'm just not going to say anything else about it. Like, you did what you wanted to do. That The reason you're not going to talk about Destiny anymore is because you dropped the one like bomb in your arsenal and now you're just walking away because uh, I'm above it I'm above it no you're not above it I mean I think you should have done that to begin with I would have supported you to do that to begin with but like now now when you just drop that bomb on destiny and now you just want to walk away because you're above it you you're you're the bigger person okay or what she has to say about me she could literally flat out lie to you guys all right, we'll see. Just now let it be. We'll see. Because I was putting way too much of my energy into that, and I'm just absolutely done. The whole situation <laughs> has been super unhealthy. I think on Destiny's side and on my side, I think that you you comes certainly a time have contributed. Like, Bro, yeah. Let's move on. Um, I'm done rehashing. I am done clarifying. I am done denying. I am done confirming. <laughs> I am just done, and I'm ready to now. Um, I Go really back to putting my energy where it belongs. I I really listen. I don't want to be repetitive, but it does really irritate me that she just dropped that bomb and now she's like, "Well, I'm done." That's so fucking stupid. That's so fucking irritating to me because you could have just not said anything this whole time like you originally said you weren't going to do when Destiny first started talking. I mean, also, honestly, let's see if she even actually sticks to that. Although, I don't know if Destiny really has anything else that she could say about Amberlynn at this point. That would be, like, truly tea-worthy. But, uh, it just it just is so irritating to me. I'm so irritated with her about this. And just also because her demeanor here, like I already pointed out, too, is so different than her even her last live stream. She was so sassy. She was so matter-of-fact. She was like, I'm... I'm the HBIC, even though she's not, and, and she just had a whole different demeanor, and now it's like, uh, you know what, I'm just, uh, I've just, I've experienced too much. I've, I put too much emotional energy into this, and I'm done. I'm done. It's just like, girl, give me a break. Give me a break. And that's in myself, and in my health, and in my weight loss surgery, and my therapy, and do better in that way. I truly wish Destiny nothing but the best, and she can call me a sumo wrestler all she wants, laugh about who I am as a person, the things that I went through in the past or currently. Um, she can do whatever I'm, she has to I'm do. I'm done talking about Destiny, but let me also rehash all the things she did that really upset me. Girl, get out of here! But I'm no longer going to be a part of that. I want my channel to go back to where it was. I was every day just coming on here and talking to you guys more about my journey of life. Sure. <laughs> and Destiny is not in my life. She's not going to be in my life ever. I want nothing to do with her. So for those who uh, have hung on through the last like four live streams and you guys have been missing my videos, I know I've heard you. We're back, <laughs> we're back to the videos. Oh, oh, now she hears people. Now she hears the requests of the people. Do you hear the people sing? <laughs> Singing the songs of angry men. Oh my god, wait, also though, that song is triggering. It makes me think of the French. We can't do all that right now. So, I have a schedule in mind. I'm thinking okay. 
I'm gonna upload three times a week. Word. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Oh, and that's some old school Amber Lynn. There was a while that she was trying to do that with her upload schedule, a little Monday, Wednesday, Friday moment. That that's old school Lynn. That is definitely a different schedule than normal. Okay, all right, let's go. I know for sure that's how it's gonna be this week, um, but we're gonna see how it goes and what you guys think of it. I'm and sure it'll we be will fine. Adjust when the time comes because I love that as a concept actually though because I you know me. <laughs> you know me. I'm not trying to do work on the weekends. I'm not trying to be here on Saturday and Sunday doing anything internet related. So, yeah, works for me. Works for me for sure for sure. It's like if I notice something isn't working out for my channel, then obviously we'll readjust and sure, fix it. For so, sure. another thing I really want to quickly just talk about is that for the last few weeks, I have not been on track with my eating. I have gone back to ordering takeout, and this is something that I was... <laughs> you never stopped ordering takeout. You just, let's just be clear for a second. Not, you can't go back to eating takeout when you never stopped. If you recall, you said, in the past month, I haven't ordered takeout at all, except for two times. Girl, you never stopped. <laughs> you never fucking stopped. I know you're not lying. I know you're not lying right now. Terrified to tell my dietitian and my therapist. I was very, very scared because for the longest time, I haven't had anyone like higher up that I had to talk to or tell or really answer to. Like, I've had no one that I've had to answer to. And <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? You haven't answered to anybody in a while. You know, I've only ever had to, like, come on here and tell you guys, like, oh, no, like, I failed another diet or... Well, yeah, and you certainly aren't answering to any of your audience or the people watching you, that's for sure. Oh, no, I've gained weight. The response is always the same. Um, obviously, there's a lot of people who are like, oh, my God, it's okay, we understand. Like, then they're done that, we're humans. Um, but then there are majority, the majority of people are very like rude and like harsh and oh my God, she's never going to get it. She's just going to die. And she, just so like lack of understanding and lack of sympathy or empathy or just like any sort of like understanding. That is like always what I've been used to. And I have been so scared to like tell you guys and because of that reason. And then, you know, I... I that, mean, that. I listen, I don't have any expectations when it comes to Amberlynn and dieting. I truly do just want what is best for her. But also, anybody who's been watching for any extended amount of time, I think if there are expectations at this point, it's that she's not going to follow through with something, you know? <laughs> so, like, I, you, don't, you are hurting me. I'm not disappointed in you. Uh, this is par for the course at this point. I, I would love for you to get better. I just want to reiterate that. And, you know, it must be frustrating, I'm sure, for you to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and getting the same results and not doing what you want to do, you know? That same, like, scared feeling that I feel uh, towards, like, telling you guys that I have failed again. Um, failed, for the lack of a better term here. Um, I, I was feeling that way towards, like, my dietitian and my therapist. And okay. I was completely honest with the both of them. I told them exactly how I was feeling, where I stand, how I'm doing, and I was completely honest. And were you completely honest? It, like she just said she was completely honest like three or four times there. I'm I'm not sure. You do you wanna do you wanna clarify for me? Were you completely honest, Amberlynn? Shocked me and like put me back into reality that like YouTube isn't reality. The response that I get on YouTube isn't reality. Sure. YouTube isn't what I should be answering to. Sure. This is just a way for me to share my life. And yeah, my therapist and my dietitian were like, I am so proud of you for being honest. Like, yeah. this is like the perfect step to take. It's showing that you are ready. Uh huh. And I actually told my therapist um, a week ago during my therapy session, obviously. But then I told my dietitian through email because I didn't have um, an appointment. I was gonna, I I was gonna say, I was gonna say, didn't she say that she didn't have an appointment yet? But okay, that makes more sense. I'm like, when would you have talked to your dietitian, bestie? But I guess through email is what she means. I just wanna read to you the first part back 
um, oh, that my dietitian sent me. I love being read to by you, Amberlynn. Please read to me. First of all, I am proud of you. Thank you for your email. Thank you for your openness and transparency with your therapist and now me. This demonstrates to me that you are more ready for surgery now than even some post-op patients I have worked with in the past have ever allowed themselves to be. It takes a lot of courage to open up about your struggles, so I appreciate that you shared that with me. Okay. And then there's like four other paragraphs, but those are private. <laughs> I was shocked. Um, it of course they're private. I, I, <laughs> of course they are. I mean, I'm sure your dietitian also didn't expect you to read any part of that out loud, but okay, go off, girl. <laughs> I can't talk, damn it. Just <laughs> this whole thing where it's like, Answering to professionals versus like just people in the comments like there's such a difference in between the two and it's like it brought me back to reality It's so fascinating. It's almost like a lot of people have been telling you to listen to professionals for for ages For, for fucking ages. It's almost like I mean me personally I've been telling you to listen to a professional for ages Nobody in the the YouTube comments knows your health like you do and I, I just by way of example Okay, when I I got my leg injury through through softball a couple weeks ago. Not not when I got hit in the face with a softball this past weekend, but the weekend before that, ugh, I'm just like, my body's falling apart. I swear to God, you guys. But when, when my leg got hurt that week, there were all kinds of people in my comments, all with different diagnoses of what happened. And to be honest, even if somebody was like, well, I'm a doctor and I think you should look at this. I'm a nurse practitioner, you should look at this. I'm an x-ray tech, you should look at this. They all had different suggestions, and the reality is none of them are medical care professionals that, like, actually saw me to treat me in real life. So, yeah, no, don't, you don't have to take the recommendations of the people in the comments. They don't know you like that. Like, even, even through what you show on camera. <sighs> So yeah, thank you for listening to a medical professional for once in your life, bestie. Where it's like, these are the people that I need to be speaking to about my issues. They're the opinions that matter. And I don't know, it just like meant a lot to me. And I don't know. So I just wanted to like, you know, get you guys kind of updated on that. That like just this whole thing, um, I've noticed that like what's going on with Destiny and like live streams and like I don't know, me getting like pneumonia again, which I'm feeling a lot better. Thank you guys for the well oh. wishes. Just uh -huh. the mixture of like all that, I stopped taking care of myself. It's almost like you had the forethought to say that responding to reaction channels and responding to Destiny and things like that wasn't good for your mental health. And now after you went and did all of those things anyways, you're saying, yeah, that wasn't good for my mental health. It's just like you have the ability to be so self-aware, but not self-aware enough to actually listen to your self-awareness, if that makes sense. Again, that is why I have to choose me. I have to continue doing that because the minute I stopped, <laughs> I just stopped with my good eating and just feeling better and like losing weight. Uh, I completely stopped with that. And I weighed myself today and I've gained a couple pounds and that's <laughs> devastating. That's not... That's not what I want for me, and that's that's not the goal here. My whole weight loss team is like hardcore rooting for me, and it's just making me want to push more. And I'm just so grateful for them because uh -huh. like I've needed this for so long, and I need to keep remembering progress, not perfection. Progress, not perfection. And hey, um, but I mean, no, no tea, no shade, nothing like that. Okay, I'm not trying to be shady here, but like, what progress? You don't have perfection or progress. Let's just be clear. <laughs> like, like, oh, because you could be honest with your dietitian. Is that the progress we're talking about? I swear. I swear. My dietitian even mentioned that in her email. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that update. And I definitely want to, like, start just talking more about my weight and really just making that, like, a forefront. Like, talking more about, like, my weight loss journey because that's so important to me. Whether that just be like in my personal life. I, I want to start talking more about it. Like with the exception of this like week or more of the Destiny talk 24-7. Like girl, what else have you talked about on your channel? If not your weight loss journey. <laughs> like, but yes, please bring it to the forefront. We've never talked about that on your channel before. Talking about it more. 
whether it be with the people closest to me or whether it be journaling or even just like here on YouTube, we'll see. But just either way, I need it to be like something that I'm really truly focusing on again. I know. Because, like, Have you not been truly focusing on it? <laughs> like, also, let's be really fucking honest. The Destiny stuff was only like a week or two, Max. It's not like we've been doing the, the Destiny stuff for a long time now. I stopped for a minute there and I was going down a path that I did not want to go on and I'm just not going to be a part of it. I'm not going to do it. Um, I'm, I'm just about to continue that. fighting for me and doing good for me. So I am going to actually end this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy. Vlogs are back I, Monday, Wednesday. Friday, I am. And I'll see you guys then. Bye. I am grateful that the vlogs are back. I am. I will say very grateful. Vlogs are back. Wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you. Love it. Appreciate that. Don't appreciate the rest of that nonsense. <laughs> I don't appreci appreciate the change demeanor, the the throw in destiny under the bus for all of your problems, and then and then being like, I'm above it. I'm not going to talk about destiny anymore. <sighs> but you just threw that bomb on her. So goofy. So fucking goofy. Oh my god. Anyways, are you all so glad Judy joined us today? Uh, make sure to leave your love for Judy Lou Who down in the comments. And thank you all for hanging out today. If you're brand new, I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll subscribe down below and hit the bell button so you get notifications when I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. Check out my merch too, by the way, because there are some new items in there. I love you all so much and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!